I know what you're thinking, the golden girl. Beautiful, smart, fun, popular. This gal's got it all. Well, there was a before. Yes, there were the awkward years. We've all been there. But one thing was apparent from the start. Chrissy Coyle was going to be a star. Oh, I loved being in front of people. Any time that I can get in front of people and talk or perform, I was in heaven. Flashy might be the word. Star of the Bossier Flashettes. That led to cheerleading at Benton High School and Bossier Bears Community College and later ULL. But all along the way, she knew where she was going to be. I knew from day one. I've known since sixth grade that this is what I wanted to do. Keep the area's only local hospital from closing. And what do you know, 2005, it happens. They called and offered me the job here at KTPS. It was one of the most exciting days of my life. And thanks for joining us, I'm Chrissy Coyle. We did pretty good too, because this star was willing to pay her dues, in the trenches doing whatever was asked. Nothing was too wild. or uncomfortable. No, I don't want to talk. Are you guilty, sir? No. But gradually, Chrissy began to connect. On the weekends at first, then mornings with Ed. You know, Chrissy expected her coffee to be made in the morning. Um, before she would leave, I have to go start her car to make sure that it was warm for her. Whatever the relationship, it worked. Ed's personality, Chrissy's... The warmth of Chrissy Coyle. Right now, what is it, 27 degrees outside, and when Chrissy Coyle comes on in the morning, there is a warmth there. What's not to love about Chrissy Coyle? I mean, I don't know of anyone who could say a single bad thing about Chrissy. Even the new girl noticed. She's really one of the main reasons why I wanted to work here. She was so nice and kind and helpful and just you know, showing me the ropes around here and how everything is done. and. I just will never forget that because not everybody's like that. Not everybody cares about helping the new girl. She was absolutely just the most genuine, lovable person. And so we got along instantly. If you knew the guys that I work with, it's not, it's not waking up and having to go to work. It's just waking up and coming and have coffee with some of my best friends. So why leave? Well, maybe it's this moment or this one or a thousand more. I just want to take, you know, the next couple of years to just spend every little moment with little Wyatt and little Olivia and also Patrick, my husband. I just don't want to miss out on any milestones in Wyatt and Olivia's life. It's not brain surgery, is it? No. As hard as it is to say, see ya. On this one, we've got your back. There's a little bit of, um, envy in me that she gets to go home and be a full-time mom because you know what those are years that you'll never get back it was an honor it was a pleasure working with you and i wish you the best of luck in your future and i don't think this will be the last the architects will hear of chrissy coyle i'm sure she'll pop back up down the road when white goes off to military school olivia goes off to the nunnery i think she'll be back hi there and good morning kind of think so too but while you're away, we will remember the little cheerleader who became our big cheerleader. And along the way taught us a lesson straight from the good book. You give and you will receive. I've just been overwhelmed to see all of the folks out there and, and read their kind words. You gave it a great run here at KTBS, and you were truly an asset here for Channel 3. Everybody loves you. You made a mark on people's lives, and you're going to be sorely missed. She was so nice and kind and helpful. I just will never forget that. It, it, it's it's going to be a little lonelier walking into the, uh, into the station in the mornings, that's for sure. I think it shows that my true personality is, has come out on air and, and people see me for me and not just the person up there 
reading the news because, you know, I'm from here. I, I love this place. I, I feel a connection with, with folks all across the Arklatex and the folks who wake up with us every morning. So, um, you know, that's, that's one of the big things I'm going to miss.